So hello everybody and thank you very much. And um, I want to present for you the road we've done in Israel um, to implement forensic nursing in Israel. And we didn't finish yet. So I just want to show you our road. So that's a picture in the Southern region of Israel. You can see the camel. And it's a joke because people are thinking that when you're arriving to Israel, all you can see is camels. So you can see we've got um, also some cars, but it's a true picture. It's a true photo. Still, we can have some camels to see some camels, but um, we are a modern uh, society. So, uh, this is a photo of the Faculty of Health Sciences in Be'er Sheva. And um, if somebody wants to come and visit us, you are more than welcome to do it. I want to speak a little bit about the nursing division in Israel because we need uh, the permission of the nursing division to start uh, the advanced course of nurse, uh, forensic nurse. So um, the body of the nursing division was established in uh, 1994, and uh, it's very critical to all the uh, nurses in Israel. Uh, we've got uh, 74,000 nurses uh, in Israel that work in, in uh, hospitals and the community. Uh, my internet is not so stable, so if you uh, won't be able to hear me, I will just pass a computer to uh, another internet connection. So the Ministry of Health and the nursing division got a lot of goals and a direction of actions, but uh, for me, the most important thing is to strengthen the professional development. We've got 26 advanced practice nursing courses. You, you can see um, fertility, diabetes, CBT, also emergency medicine, psychiatric nursing, a clinical instructor, but now for us, we want to uh, bring the 27th course, it's the forensic uh, nursing course. You can see uh, all uh, uh, the people that got the advanced course, uh, almost 25,000 uh, of nurses that uh, have a speciality. The most uh, popular course is intensive care and uh, mid midwifery. And only uh, 23 nurses uh, uh, got a, a military uh, nursing advanced course. Before we start our journey, I want to uh, show you two cases. One is true and the other one is false. And in the end of the presentation, I will tell you what's true and what false and what's the implication for the nurses in Israel. So this is the first case. It's a young man brought to the emergency department, dead. And uh, as we do in Israel and uh, probably in all other countries, the family wants to come and see um, the dearest that died. Um, and before uh, the, enter the entry of the family, a nurse saw there is a shoe print on the face of uh, the young man. So uh, she decided to take a photo of it and to send it to the uh, Forensic uh, Institute in Israel. Later on, it was one of the evidence against uh, the men they thought that uh, beat this guy and uh, uh, the, the men went to prison for it. So this is the, the first case. This is another case. 
a woman died in the community and the community nurse uh, arrived. Uh, her spouse said she was a very, very sick oncological um, uh, patient and um, she looked in, at the uh, data she had on the patient and she saw uh, she was not an oncological patient. So uh, she uh, asked to move the, the body um, to the National Institute for uh, Forensic uh, Medicine. Uh, they saw that her spouse poisoned her and uh, she was dead because of the poison. Uh, he wanted her money. So keep it in mind. And in the end of the presentation, I will tell you what's true and what wasn't true and what happened in the cases. So this is uh, the definition of uh, forensic nursing. I, I don't have to uh, uh, tell you uh, about the definition. I think everybody here know the definition. And it was a dream of uh, Virginia Lynch. And uh, she's my hero. Uh, because of her, I started to know more about forensic nursing. And she approached to me, uh, to know what's the status of uh, forensic nursing in Israel. And it's uh, a part of uh, her book from uh, uh, 2010. And I was really trying to do something, but I couldn't do a thing because the Ministry of Health and the nursing division didn't want to hear my voice. It was, uh, you can see, more than 10 years ago. So we are always talking about is the forensic nurse is a forensic investigator? Does she has a clinical role? Uh, can she do the part of death investigator? And uh, the answer is probably yes for all. So we can say that in Israel, the forensic medical profession is uh, recognized as a separate internship by the Scientific Council of Medical Association in the 80s. And we've got a problem in Israel. We've got minority uh, of specialists in uh, forensic uh, medicine. This is Dr. Hen Kugel, and he's the head of the National uh, Institute for Forensic Medicine in Israel. And he's a very good friend of mine and um, is very active to make uh, the uh, forensic nurse uh, real in Israel. So we know that since uh, 2006, forensic nursing uh, has been recognized as a practice area in over 27 countries. And probably uh, today it's uh, even uh, a lot more. You can see her, uh, Virginia Lynch, she was my guest. And um, we tried to convince uh, the uh, headquarters of the police uh, in Jerusalem that uh, uh, forensic nursing, it's uh, really uh, something as, uh, that uh, they got to consider uh, when uh, they working in a scene crime. And uh, those are some uh, pictures from the uh, forensic lab in Jerusalem. So why is it so important uh, for the nursing pro profession, uh, the rule of a forensic nurse? We know that victims of violence need immediate and professional treatment, and we know nurses can do it. So what's the status now? We've got all the medical program finished, but we need, uh, the, um, we need the Ministry of uh, Justice to pass some rules 
that uh, nurses can be uh, forensic nurses. And it's very, very hard um, to do it. So I hope we can uh, pass, pass this and uh, make my dream come true. So I'm coming back to the cases. This was a real case. I mean, the guy came to the emergency department, a very good emergency nurse uh, saw the shoe print and uh, make a photo of it and send it to the uh, National Institute of Forensic Medicine. And as I told you before, this was the story. What about the second story? So I just want to tell you that um, people are, that coming to examine uh, the body in Israel, it can be a doctor and it can be a paramedic. In this case, uh, the paramedic uh, arrived to the body. The paramedic can't see the data, uh, the history of the patient. So when the spouse told him that she was a really, really sick oncological patient, uh, they uh, took her and uh, she was buried. And then her daughters uh, thought that something is really uh, not, um, not right because her spouse just was talking about the money, wanted all her money. So they asked to take her out from her grave to see it, if it was a forensic case. And as I told you in the beginning, uh, they found out that the, the spouse was uh, poisoning her. She wasn't an uh, oncological uh, patient. So if we will have a forensic nurses in the field, in the community, that they will can see the data of the patient, those uh, things won't happen again. I want to thank you very much, everyone. And so thank you.